They have come in numbers to bid farewell to a well-known, respected political figure. The DRC's opposition leader, Etienne Chisakedi, died in Brussels on Wednesday. Congolese mourners from Belgium and several European countries attended the wake organized in an exhibition hall. I came to commemorate a great man, someone who has taught us democracy and respect for human rights, and above all, the rule of law. We came to mourn our president who died. We pay homage to him because we won't be able to go back to the country for his funeral. He was the leader. He fought to free Congo for a long time. It is a shame he has gone. Known as the Sphinx for his sparse but profound statements, Chisakedi was the undisputed leader of the opposition to President Joseph Kabila. Chisakedi's death comes as the opposition and government were negotiating the departure of Kabila after 16 years in power. He was expected to head a transitional council to oversee Kabila's exit by the end of this year, and a deal struck on December 31st. Honestly, we had to come here. We had to. He contributed so much to our country. He brought democracy back at home, and he made us understand how to take responsibility for ourselves. So, understand my emotion. I don't have any words to express myself. Look at all the people that have come here. Thanks to him, us Congolese really know our rights. Even though he was ill and absent from politics for three years, many admired Etienne Chisakedi for remaining outside the folds of power in a country where many opponents have cycled in and out of government over the decades. Chisakedi's credibility enabled him to mobilize the masses like no other figure in the country. But his critics say he failed to leave in place political structures that could survive him. Tuli Shabalala, CGTN.